If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these plain black cracks into these lovely rhinestone and pearl embellished cracks, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube! So today in this video, I am going to be adding some embellishments to these crocs. And these are a women's size 11 or 12. Now the requests, um, these are from my aunt. And let me just say really quickly, um, some people do comment in the comment section asking how much I charge to do crocs or how do they place an order. I'm not accepting orders. The reason being is that um, I just don't have the time to take on so many different shoes being mailed to me from all over uh, the country. I took on some orders over this summer last year. Busy, so I had to make sure I had everybody's stuff done before I went out of town. When I came back from out of town on vacation, I had more shoes to do. And I just don't want my time tied up like that. So currently I am not accepting orders like from people who have to mail shoes to me. Like locally, I'll do it like the people I know or know of. I don't really do shoes for complete strangers because I just don't want to have so much traffic. If that, if you, hopefully you understand what I mean. But um, yeah, so these are for my aunt and she um, has the insulated crocs. Very, very nice so and warm. So these are very nice and warm. And she doesn't want a lot, well she she know how I do, but she doesn't want a lot of colors on here. She says to do them black. Black, you guys. Black is beautiful, don't get me wrong. But I said, okay, can I do black and silver? So it's gonna be mainly black with some silver. I did a video showing you guys how to make um, medical charms for nurses, STNAs, CNAs, doctors could use these charms too. So these are the crocs that I made those for. I'm just gonna show them to you. And if you did oh, see I won't that be video. using all of these charms, but these are the medical uh, nursing charms that I made. Now these are good if you're an ambulance driver, medical assistant. Um, this one says RN, so that's specifically for an RN. But these are just super cute and I do have a video showing you exactly how I made these charms. Head over if you're interested. Click that link. I should have that available in the description so you can see how to make that video. How I'm to make going those to be charms. using this cheap little drill. I'll try to find a link where I purchased this from on Amazon. This is under $20. And this is just to sand off that, um, that sheen off the top of the Crocs so it can be nice and dry and matte. Then you'll wipe it off with some alcohol and you'll get started adding your embellishments. I'll be using E6000 glue. E6000 glue is what I'm going to be using. So I purchased some black pearls. I don't have any black pearls. So I bought some, this little thing. It looks so much bigger on a picture. This was about $7 on Amazon. It has multiple sizes. So I just poured some onto a tray. I have some black rhinestones here, five millimeter, and I have some clear rhinestones. I'll be using a pickup tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I also have these big bling charms. I'll add what one to each. I just want to show you the difference between the one that has been sanded and the one that has not been sanded. This one has been sanded, you probably can tell. It's very ashy looking and rough. That's how you want it to look, okay? So I just wanted to show you the difference. Okay, so both shoes have been sanded. I'm just gonna take some alcohol and wipe them off very, very good. Cause you don't want to have any dust or anything still on the shoes. So you want everything to stick very well. Okay, so now that I have everything all wiped off, I am going to start by adding charms. Okay, so I have the charms on the shoe. Now I'm going to start to add on my pearls and rhinestones. First, I will cover this up. I have some larger size pearls I'm going to use to kind of cover Okay, as you can see, I've added glue all around the hole of the Crocs that I want to cover up the actual hole. The bigger size pearls I'm using are about a 12 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. 
So I'm just gonna squeeze them closely together over that hole so you won't still see that hole there. And I'm just going to continue to do this for both of them until you no longer can see that hole on the crop. I just don't like to see the holes on the crocs. Now I'm just going along the side of the shoe and just kind of creating an outline. And then once I go around the whole shoe, I'll kind of fill it in, which I've kind of already done because I was kind of pressed for time and I don't want to drag this video out too long. So as you can see, I've already kind of finished this one up and just closing this one up. Here are the charms for the second shoe I'm going to be doing. Here are the charms inside of the shoe. And once again, I have these two holes and I'm taking the bigger size pearls, bringing them close together so I can close up those holes. So remember, you can put as many charms on these shoes as you like to. You don't have to charm it up like I did. Some people don't use charms at all and they just cover the whole crock in, in um, rhinestones or just pearls. And that's pretty as well. So you can just kind of use your own style, your own flair as to how you want them for yourself or however your customer likes them or you know, they may show you a picture or an example. Everyone doesn't like the same type of things. And if you do Crocs, I really strongly suggest you learn how to make some of the charms yourself. 90% of the charms on this shoe I made myself. And I think that really helps with me trying to make things um, stand out and be a little different than what other people are doing. It's cool to have the luxury charms, but you know, sometimes that can get kind of costly, especially if you have to buy them from someone else every time you have to customize someone's shoe. Um, if you buy them in bulk, like I do, I buy them in bulk, not just because I do people Crocs from time to time, I buy them in bulk because of course I sell them as well, which is helpful because it's not just luxury Crocs on the vendors list um, or vendor list, it is one vendor. It actually has a lot of um, it has a lot of those gibbets, the plastic ones that people don't mind wearing, the rubber gibbets, and they have every type of theme you could possibly think of. So now what I'm doing is I'm sanding down this strap because I forgot to do it in the beginning, wiping that down with alcohol, and just putting some glue on it, and just randomly adding the same colors that I have on the crock onto the strap. So I'm almost finished with these Crocs and like I said, these silver and black colors together are just very, very pretty and I'm almost finished. Okay you guys, here is the final finished result of these Crocs. For the colors to be so dark, they are so sparkly. I can just see like little twinkles. This is like really nice and low key and toned down. Yes, they're busy and they're very blingy, but the fact that there's not a lot of colors going on, which is what I'm used to. I'm used to a little pink, a little teal, you know, a little something, but just this clear and black, I love it. And this is like my second time using these black rhinestones and I had no idea they had so much sparkle. I just thought they didn't have much sparkle because they're just a jet black rhinestone. I'm gonna have to use these more often. I really think these came out nice. I mean, yes, I do have some big bulky charms on here. That's the look I was going for. And I really do like the way that these um, STNA charms look. I think they're perfect for the setting that they'll be used. And you know, these are for her. These are specifically for my aunt to wear to work, to her new job, so. And she just wants to represent, you know, the field that she's in because she loves it, you know? Remember to try to figure out how to make some of your own charms. You know, get some cute creative ideas going on. I have two videos showing you how to make charms. I'll be doing another one soon. I don't know how much people are into spikes, but I did have some spike charms, and I think I may do a video for those as well. But thanks you guys again for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Share it on Facebook, and hello to all my subscribers. Hello to my new subscribers. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when I do upload a new video. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.
MyRoyalRadiance.com, where we sell lip gloss, hand sanitizers, shoe charms, and much more. Use my coupon code ROYALBEAUTY10 off for a special discount for my subscribers. Be sure to check out our website, CRTacticalDefense.com, where we sell in waistband gun holsters, available in four different sizes. We also carry gun cleaning mats and much more. Use my special discount code VIBES, V I B E S. And if you'd like to see more videos like this video, check out my playlist. I do have a whole playlist dedicated to Crocs, embellishing Crocs, and there's a few videos on how to make your own charms. Thanks again for visiting this channel. Bye bye.